Hi there, and welcome to Todd and Deborah. It's our third episode of third, the Todd and Deborah Show. Three weeks. Yeah, we're it still Seems here. like a year. <laughs> but only for those of you watching. We're well, having fun, we're so, having you know. Fun. And today? Well, today we're going to be talking about Google Photos. And in order to use Google Photos, which is free, we'll tell you how to make, uh, yeah. how you can upload unlimited photos for free in just a minute. Um, but you need to have a Google account, and then you need to choose the right settings when you decide how to upload your photos. Photos. Talk about how they can get a Google account. Well, you go to... Accounts? At Google.com. Or it might be accounts.google.com. Google it's something like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why you have your better half doing and remembering these things and you just don't wow. do that. But that's okay. I'm yes. better half. You, you, you go on to that page and, yeah. and it's a simple process. Basically, you give them a username and you fill in some basic information. Uh, they're going to run you through some specifics about security questions and things, which we'd really suggest you take the time to look at. Do. Just so you're familiar with what they're offering and what they're asking, but what's also is going to protect things that like your pictures and stuff. That and uh, just about security settings before we move on, for the past two years on Internet Security Day or whatever, someday in February, uh, Google has gotten in touch with us to say, hey, if you'll stop by your security settings page and here's the link and fill out the information or, or check it again, just mm -hmm. you know, update it if need be, uh, check and see, then they give you two more free, uh, not GB, what does that stand for? Gigabytes. gigabytes. I wanted to say Google Bytes, but it's gigabytes. Yeah, same thing, isn't it? Same thing. Of uh, drive storage. And I think that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Google provides so much free stuff. And again, a lot of seniors, geezers, yeah. whatever you want to call us, can, can do with free stuff when we're living on a fixed income, right? Yeah. So now you've got a Google account and you've taken some time to set up your security settings and you're set to go over to photos where they allow you to choose how you want to, you know, use it. You right. can set up uh, the feature that will take any photo that you take on your smartphone and automatically upload it to your Google photos. That's the one thing. One thing I was going to say is it's not only do you upgrade or not upload your photos, but through this application, you have the ability to be able to organize them however you want. Or actually, Google organizes them by date and everything almost automatically for you. But you can search them. I really want to find that photo of your grandson when he took his first bike ride or whatever. So you can actually search bicycle or tricycle or whatever he's on. Or uh, my grandson, I guess. You can show his he... face. Well, that's another thing. Facial recognition. It will search by face recognition. How is this? You just choose a face and say, show me all the photos of you this know one. this guy or this mm -hmm. girl. And boom, it brings them all up. It's really crazy. I mean, what are those things called? Oh, emojis. Yeah, you can yeah. even search by them. You can put a hot dog up and it'll go through and every picture that has a hot dog in it, it'll show you what it is. So it's Make sure that you use the setting you want when you start uploading your photos because if you choose original size, I want all of my photos to upload in the original size in which I took them, then you'll eventually use up your limit because there's a limit when uploading original size of 15 gigabytes. After that, you'll pay for the uh, storage space. But if you choose high definition instead of original size, it's still high def. It's still really good quality yeah. in my opinion. But then Google allows you to upload unlimited, unlimited. photos. It could it, be a it, trillion it doesn't photos. Make sense. But seriously, I think we have a trillion photos in these uh, boxes. Right? Mm -hmm. So we're gonna they're gonna be sorry that they yeah. said unlimited when we get all our photos up there. In addition to your photos, if you're downsizing as we are and you come across documents that you would like to share forever, we scan those as a JPEG rather than as a PDF. Right. And that way, it uploads to Google Photos. We've got tons of documents up there as JPEGs, free, absolutely free. If you already have a Google account, but you're thinking, well, I don't know if I want to start doing this with that, you're allowed to create another Google account, so you can do that, and you'll have. Deborah's uh, created so many. Yes, buildings. you can. You can do another account. Yeah. But to tell if you've got an account, just check. You know, look at your your email address. Uh, if you've got an at gmail.com, then you've got a Gmail account already set up and you can go in and, and access these services. But if you don't, you need to set up a, a Google account. That's a good point. If you've got a at yahoo.com, then you you've probably got a Yahoo Gmail. account. Right, right. If you've got a at Netscape account, you're that's right. <laughs> you see how that works? Yahoo account won't get you into Google. Won't apps get you or Google free Fudo, Google photos or any of that or stuff. Or Fudos. Yeah. By the way, I think we forgot to mention that before uploading them, we scan our photos into a, what's it called, an external hard drive? Yeah. 
Yeah. Just as a sort of extra backup. And I don't know if we said it either too, but just like with your smartphone, uh, any picture that you've already taken that's on your computer, if you use one of those regular cameras that you plug in and download, you can do that. And anything that's on your computer can also be uploaded to, uh, to your, your uh, drive up there. With the external hard drive, if you don't already have one, I mean, we happen to have a uh, Western Digital, is it four terabytes? Yeah, yeah. you don't need one that big in most cases, I don't think. I was just going to say that I would get the largest one you can get yeah. because we then, keep yes, thinking. I agree. We get the <laughs> biggest one you can get. Isn't it great when your spouse says, yes, you? I definitely agree. So we won't get into an argument about this later, right? That's what they're really saying. Now, we, we just think, I think that we've time after time discovered that having the largest size of something when it comes to storage paid off because files keep getting bigger and bigger. So, um storing them on a huge external hard drive is what Deborah are, recommends. Are all those VHS tapes that we've downloaded to our computer now up in our photo? Do you know what I think they are? Because we have our settings yeah. for telling our PC, or you could tell your Mac or whatever, in yeah. addition to our smartphone, we say upload every video to Google we just Photos. About that. How smart. Wow. How wonderful is Google? Yay. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it very much and we'll look forward to seeing you next time, which bye -bye. will be Episode four. four. See ya.